Today is July the 21st, 2013. I'm going to show you some things that you might enjoy. This is something I just recently got in. It's a uh, the blue ESR meter. I like it a lot. Power it on. Short it together. To zero it out. Press it again. It's to zero. It's ready to go. Just hook that across your capacitor. And this is an 80 at 450. It says my ESR is uh, 0.38. That's actually good. That's 0.38 ohms of equivalent series resistance. So that's real good. Uh, what I was going to do in this video is also compare it. I have a uh, beautiful old uh, general radio. I think it's called a 1650. Yeah, 1650A, it measures things like ESR also. Let's get over on it. I'm going to mount the camera here so I don't have to hold it. Maybe it won't be quite so jittery. The way you do it on this guy is hook it up. This is measuring it at 1 kilohertz. I've already got it set up. I've been going through it so I won't be fumbling here too bad. You turn the um, this dial, this reads out the, the capacitance. So I've got it set to microfarads up here, a little bit out of the camera, microfarads times 10. So if you could watch the meter right here, see it dips. You get it as low as it go, and then you go back here, and then you read its, its dissipation factor. And you keep going until you get it all tweaked in, until the null is as perfect as you can get it. Okay, and then we read it off and it's reading 8.5, so it's 85 microfarads, and the dissipation factor is about 0 0.26, 0 0.26. Well, and then you calculate RS, which is the series resistance, which is exactly the same as uh, ESR, by saying, you, you take the uh, capacitive reactants, 2 pi FC, 2 um, pi times F, 1,000, times C, 85 E6 change sign times store that and then it's dissipation factor 0 0.26 0 0.26 swap those guys around divide again it says we got an ESR of 0 0.49 that's what this magnificent old 1960s vintage instrument says 0 0.49 for the uh, for the for the old instrument and I love it a little bit more trouble I don't know if it's worth the trouble or not. Let's measure this one again. 0.49 versus uh, 0.37. Same thing. Great. Works great. like this thing. Also, this is nothing that I have personally invented or discovered about it because it's out on the website, but you can also use it to measure uh, uh, resistors, low value resistors. I have uh, used this this old jewel right here. This is a beautiful old uh, multi-range precision milliometer by Simpson. Had this thing for quite a while. I really trust it. And uh, I measured a bunch of resistors here. 1.1, 1.45. See, these are all supposed to be one ohm resistors. And 1.075. And you can use your the ESR meter to measure them. Let me hook it up. And this one measures 1.0. Well, I thought I was getting a slight bit. Let's zero it again. Measures this one as 1.0. Well, that's, that's pretty close. That's within 10%. Let's see, this one is 1.075, that should be 1.0, and it is. And this one is measured way out of tolerance, 1.45, and it measures it as 1.4. So it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, one of the other things to uh, I can show you is if you hook up the ESR meter to an oscilloscope, let's watch the scope here, if I take it and I put it across, um, I'll put the output across the oscilloscope, that's what we get, and it's just as the manual says, 
we get um, there it is right there I believe you should be able to see that well darn it I'm having a heck of a time with it there it is. It's pulsing right there. This is uh, 0.1 milliseconds per division, so it's pulsing at every 0.5 milliseconds. So this is one millisecond across, but from here to here would be one cycle, so it's pulsing it at the rate of 2 kilohertz. And if you expand one of the pulses out right here, you can see that. I don't have the perfect sync, and I hope that the, uh, the camera is catching it properly. That's about an 8 microsecond pulse, which is, uh, again, just what the manual says. So that's what they're actually pulsing it with. It's also about 500 millivolts in amplitude. Now once you put a capacitor across it, it goes down to extremely low value so there's not much chance of you harming your capacitor that's for darn sure let's see let's put that big old 80 microfarad capacitor across it again and then hook the scope back it's almost down in the noise so you can just barely see a blip in there I mean it is it is down in the mud but it uh, sure does work I'm very pleased with it Anyway, that's what it is. You know, take the capacitor back off and then we can, we can actually see the signal again. Oh yeah, we got a big, big signal there. There it is again. Anyway, that's the that's the little ESR lady that I'm uh, very pleased with. I thought I'd show you what it does. Back off here. This guy right here. I bought this one already put together because I was too lazy to build it myself. But when you turn it on, you just short the leads together. And uh, press it one more time. Press the little black button here on the top. That zeroes it out and it's ready to go. Works real good. Uh, there's another gentleman that makes YouTube videos here at El Paso that I work with. His name is Uncle Doug. He used this meter and empirically determined a lot of data below one microfarad where he knew what the ESR meter read in ohms um, and, and is able to determine from it whether the fractional value capacitor, you know, like the point ones to point two point four sevens etc i think down to about a point oh two are good so if he measures its esr on here it's going to end up at some high number i don't remember what like 40 or 50 or maybe even higher but um then he can compare it to his chart and uh, and determine if it's good or bad basically what happens is it looks like if you do a x and y axis the uh, the curve comes down from way up here in high resistance down to a very low resistance and tends out on the microfarad scale which would be the X scale to uh, zero unless the capacitors are very uh, small as measured by this and uh, they tend to uh, you know the ESR tends to increase now I don't remember if we measured ESR of the smaller capacitors on this guy right here or not this one has for its for its age it's actually quite magnificent it measures down to one picofarad and up to 1100 microfarads so it's really uh, got quite a, a huge range on it you have to measure the capacitance here and then you have to measure the dissipation factor here dissipation factor is is bad you don't want it you want zero dissipation and over here at the at the beginning of the scale it is zero and over at this end it's it's one so if it's a dissipation factor of one, then it's then it's all going up in heat and smoke. So you know that's kind of bad. Uh, anyway, that's what this guy does. It also measures Q of coils. Q is the reactance divided by the resistance, and D, the D factor, is the reciprocal of uh, Q. Anyway, that's what it is, and that's the uh, 
nice little meter. Highly recommend it. I'm not affiliated with uh, this seller or, or manufacturer in any way.